dead grandmother? Yes, that's what Mr. Peterson said. I had Florence Sparrow notify Sloan. Poor little lamb. Who's this girl going out with? It's so hard to tell these days. I do see her with Ferris Bueller quite a little bit. Would you get me Mr. Peterson's daytime number, please? Sure. Ed Rooney's office. This is George Peterson. Oh, uh, please hold. Well, you know, it's Mr. Peterson. Do you still want his daytime number? Ed Rooney. Ed, this is George Peterson. How are you today, sir? Well, we've had a bit of bad luck this morning, as you may have heard. Yeah, I heard, and... Oh, I'm all broken up. Boy, what a blow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, it's been a tough morning, and uh, we've got a lot of family business to take care of, so if you wouldn't mind excusing Sloan, I'd uh, appreciate it. Well, uh, sure. Yo, I'd be happy to. Yeah, you, uh, you, you just produce a corpse, and uh, I'll release Sloan. I want to see this dead grandmother firsthand. It's all right, Grace. It's Ferris Bueller, little twerp. I'm gonna set a trap and let him fall right into it. Uh, uh, Ed, I'm, I'm sorry. Did, did you say you wanted to see a body? Yeah, that's right. Just uh, roll her old bones on over here, and I'll dig up your daughter. You know that school <laughs> policy. Oh? Uh, was this your mother? Uh, no, my wife's mother. Ed Rooney's office. Hi, this is Ferris Bueller. Can I speak to Mr. Rooney, please? Thank you. Uh, hold. I'll tell you what, dipshit. You don't like my policies, you can just come on down here and smooch my big old white butt. Ed! Pucker up, buttercup. What? Ferris Bueller's online, too. Hey, Mr. Rooney, how you doing? Listen, uh, I'm sorry to disturb you at work, but I'm not feeling very well today. And I was wondering if it might be possible for my sister to bring home any assignments for my classes that I might need. Have a nice day. <clears throat> Mr. Peterson? Um, uh, no, I, I, I think I owe you an apology, sir. Well, I should say you do. I, uh, I, I, I... Well, I think you should be sorry, for Christ's sake. A family member dies, and you insult me. What the hell is the matter with you, anyway? Uh, uh, uh... Well, I, I, I really don't know, sir. I mean, I, I, I didn't think I was talking to you. I thought I was talking to somebody else. You know, sir, that I would never deliberately insult you like that. I, I, just, I can't begin to tell you how embarrassed I am. What? Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. What? Asshole. Uh, you are absolutely right, sir. You've hit the nail right in the head. We'll find out where she is. This isn't over yet, Buster. Do you read me? Uh, loud and clear, Mr. Peterson. Call me sir, God damn it! Yes, yes, yes sir, yes sir! That's better. Well, you just mind your P's and Q's, Buster, and remember who you're dealing with. Bueller. Ferris Bueller. No, I'm, I'm a little scared, because what, what if he recognizes my voice? Possible. You're doing great. Yeah? She's in wait! Rooney? Oh, oh. Rooney, calm down. Oh, just a moment. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, just a, a little uh, office difficulty, sir. Rooney, I don't have all day to bark at you, so I'm going to make this short and sweet. I want my daughter out in front of the school in 10 minutes by herself. I don't want anybody. What? It's too suspicious. He'll think something's up. Cover it. You. Talk. Come on. Three or six. Talk. No. Ronnie! Uh, Ronnie! Yes, yes. Listen here, pay attention. I changed my mind. I want you out in front of the school with her. I'd like to have a few words with you, by God. 
On second thought, we don't have time to talk right now. We'll get together soon and we'll have lunch. Ow! Best. What the hell is wrong with you? Wait! Wait! Where's your brain? Why'd you kick Where's me? Where's your brain? Why'd you kick me? Where's your brain? I asked you first. How can we pick up Sloane if Rooney is there with her? I said for her to be there alone and you freaked.